Hello there. In this video I'm going to tell you about the graphical user interface that you use when you use weaponized chess on Ubuntu 12 and on Steam OS desktop mode on a Steam console. I'm going to try to show these, you the specific features that you get on this GUI but you don't get on the big picture GUI. I would like to also point, also point out that when you look at this particular video on the store page on Steam and you zoom it out to full screen then it's blurry, it's at low resolution. If you want to see this video at a high definition go to YouTube and look at it there. Now here is one of the differences in the two GUIs is in the load game. When you load game on this GUI you get this window And when you delete game, you get this GUI. It's gone. Another difference is, is that on this particular GUI, you can change the font. And you have available whatever it is that's out there. And you change to that. And I believe the last difference is has to do with changing colors. When you change colors, on this particular GUI, you have one of these. Or you can have as many of these as you want. What you can do is mess around with this until you get it to where, where you want it. And then the change is made. Click on it, and you can see the changes are immediately made to the screen. Now, let's go back to the normal type of piece shapes. Now, what I'm going to talk about is the mechanics of, of use. Now when you're using this particular GUI on uh, Ubuntu, you're using the mouse and you, when you start the game you're in move fire mode. And you can see that in actions that what you have available are these two, move and pick up. So you can go to move fire mode, which you're already in, and then you can click on what you want, what you want to move and where it can move. Now, if you decide that you don't want to move the piece that you've clicked upon, you can just click to the side and that cancels. Now, as you can see, that you can still go to move fire. Now, that's is because in move fire, you control your move and your two fires. Uh, assuming that you have made a move, then you still have two fires that you can do. Fire one, fire two. Oops, that's a king, he can't fire. Fire two. Now at this point you're no longer in move fire mode and it's not available. All you can do now is pick up or end. So if you get pick up, you go to pick up and then click on the square or on the actual article and the pickup curves. Now, since you have picked it up, the exchange now becomes available. Click on the square, and because a queen can exchange at range, you can click on the queen. And almost all the time, you're gonna be going to this action bar, this action menu. Drop, you can drop that. And that drop is no longer available because you don't have anything on your pieces at the moment. The only thing you can do now is end the turn. And you end your turn. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is dozing. Now if you click on this square you have the option of doze using a dozer. Now at this point you're picking the direction that you want to go from the pieces that you have selected. So if you want to go in this particular direction it turns out that there's only one choice. The only pieces that can participate 
in this particular nose are the front left square and the center square. And by the center square, that means this, this square in which the doser itself is in. And the front left square is the front, and to the left, that. And because you're using these two, you can only go in a direction which is not opposed. You can't go this way because that and that are in the way. And you can't go this way because these pieces are in the way. So if you choose the direction, then the doze is executed. And let's end the turn. Now let's see if I can tell you about transportation. So I move the destroyer up to here. Because it's hard to see, I go to the right view. I go to the action pickup. And that picks that up. Now, you might think that because you picked up the piece, you can use that particular piece. But if a piece has moved during the turn, you cannot use a transport article. Oops, you're already in move fire. So if you try to right click, and when the game starts, in move fire, the left mouse button is, is for a move, and the right mouse button is for fire. If you form a move while in move fire, then both the left and right mouse buttons become fire. And once you have completed both fires, then you're out of move fire mode. So if you try to right click on this, it won't let you. But it will let you fire the destroyer. And then you pick the direction. Just toggling through this to get back to that destroyer. Now you left click, Oops. left click. Now there are two different ways this piece can move, and therefore you see two different types of colors. If you pick one of these blue squares, then you're using the transport article, and if you click one of these orange squares and you're going to have to decide which you're going to use whether you use the pieces normal movement or whether you're going to use the transport article so I picked that and now it wants to know whether you want to go to the left right or straight ahead well I'm going to click B line go straight and therefore because this is a jump pack it jumps up into the air and it's going to fly through the air and land there okay we're at eight minutes and I believe that's all that is as long of a video which I, I should, should subject you to. I hope this has been useful.